Jet Rose for the Thomas Picuna, NOLA.com at Silliman Institute's weight room here with Josie Milton. Uh, one time South Carolina commit, heading to TCU now uh, with signing day fast approaching. And it's kind of a big deal here. You, you got a small school up here, kind of hidden, um, you know, up off the highway. And you and Jordan Talley, who will be going to, to Nichols State, both getting a chance to, to sign and go play some Division I football. What does that mean to this program? What have been some of the maybe the things that, that y'all have talked about in terms of the significance there? Well, I know that, you know, there's a lot of good players in this league and a lot of them get overlooked because they think it's, you know, like a smaller league. And I think that me and Jordan coming out of Silliman as, you know, D1, um, all for kids, I think it's going to, you know, sprout up that, you know, to a football at Silliman Institute has a lot of good players and that, you know, they can actually do something. What was the, the process like of, of getting started because when you're when you're a little bit further out of the the big city or you're in a smaller school let alone both or uh, most folks when they they think about Louisiana football they're thinking of the LHSAA y'all are involved in in the Mississippi Association of Independent Schools um, so a little bit more into the radar just right off the bat what was it like to to start to get some of that recruiting process going originally over the last couple of years well um, it took me by surprise, honestly. I didn't expect me to get that many offers, but, um, you know, I still had doubters. Everybody's like, oh, well, you know, it is a smaller league. Colleges don't understand. But, you know, it took a lot for my family and my coaching staff and my team to actually, you know, be able to, you know, have D1 offer kids. And, you know, we, we worked our tail off just to, you know, get that first offer. Once the first offer came in, Everything, everything got you know up to par. Yeah, that's Jordan walking in right now. Um, but <laughs> you mentioned your dad had had done an awful an awful lot of legwork and just kind of making sure people knew who you were to to get it rolling. And then Arkansas uh, about a year ago was the first offer, and then things just took off from there. What, what were those early stages like? Um, and then. How cool was it to see when it started to pick up that steam? Well, the early stages, I came to this school at 3.40, so I knew, yeah, I was fat. <laughs> I knew at the beginning I had to uh, lose weight, uh, get more muscle, get faster. So throughout all of that, we also did camps, and me and Jordan went to, I think Jordan went to like eight camps, I went to like 13 camps all together. And me, we were just pushing each other constantly in the weight room together. And then our seasons had to be, you know, above and beyond. Because, you know, back to it, you know, a lot of people didn't understand that it's it's hard to play in this league and that, you know, it's just you just gotta work harder in this league to actually get looked at. Me and Jordan did that. Um, the decision making process mentioned at one point South Carolina, now TCU, you pretty firm with TCU that I mean that's that's where you'll be on signing day. I'm going to TCU. Yeah. What what stood out about TCU so much to, I mean, not only be the place, but to be a place that that ultimately kind of supplanted a place that you had had pretty strong feelings about. What, what did you like so much about TCU that, that that's the destination for you now? Well, first off, it's a lot closer than South Carolina. And you know, TCU is like six and a half hours. South Carolina was 12 for me. And when I went on my visit, I fell in love with the place. The players are cool. You know, everybody clicked together as, you know, it, it seemed like a family instead of, you know, a lot of colleges say they're family and they're really not, but I could really tell they're family. Uh, I love the facilities and all, but facilities aren't going to win championships, but that's the thing about them, they actually, you know, win, you know yeah. what I mean? And, you know, I just couldn't be any happier about TCU. I'm very excited to be a former pro. Did you pay pretty good attention to the way the whole end of the season went and the controversy of people thinking they should be in that Final Four and not? Did you, yeah, any well, thoughts on all that? Well, I mean, they, were, they weren't happy about it whenever I talked to them about it. They weren't very happy about it, and I wasn't either. I thought they should be in it, but, you know, things happen. We st I mean, we, we destroyed Ole Miss. Let's be happy about that because, you know, around here it's all SEC. Yeah. You know, being able to tell people, yeah, 
you know, my Big 12 TCU team just destroyed your SEC Ole Miss team. Yeah. For what it's worth, I don't think a whole lot of LSU fans were, were too upset to see Ole Miss get beat. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Never happened. Um, when you go to TCU, do you, do you feel like you'll still be taking some some idea of needing to prove yourself being the the small town, small school guy, or once you get there, it's it's just a totally different deal. This, I mean, you've already done what you need to do to, to prove yourself past that. Well, I'm going to go in with the same mentality that I am a small school kid. You know, I'm going to make sure that I'm working hard. I'm going to try and work harder than anybody there. And, um, you know, I know that there's still going to be doubters. There's always going to be doubters. But um, I'm just working on proving them wrong, basically. What are your expectations there in terms of um, what what you are going to do, what they expect you to do? Um, you, you've played both sides here, obviously. Have you all talked much about where you'll play there, um, what the likelihood of maybe early playing time, what you have to do to prove yourself to earn that sort of thing, any, any of that type of dynamic? Well, I'm signing as a center. And uh, I mean, if they want me to redshirt next year, I'm totally fine with redshirting. I can get bigger, stronger, you know, learn all the plays easier. But I'm not really worried about it because I know that our season next year is going to be amazing. And I think we're going to win it all next year. But uh, I'm not really stressing about the whole thing. I'm just going to go there and work as hard as I can. Yeah. Josie Milton at Silliman. And for Nola.com and Thomas Pekin, Jared Roser.